Yesterday, Google unveiled yet another AI monstrosity upon the world called Alpha Evolve, the latest evolution of its Alpha Coder system that has already crushed the majority of competitive programmers and mathletes around the world. But this is not your typical lame, overhyped AI model. It's actually a system of large language models that's capable of optimizing its own training process and has already made new discoveries in math and science. It even cut down Google's own cloud computing bill by 0.7% by optimizing Borg, which is the internal server orchestration system at Google that inspired Kubernetes. The craziest thing, though, is that Alpha Evolve doesn't just regurgitate all the slop it stole from the internet, it creates and discovers entirely new slop, like it's already discovered novel, provably correct algorithms that match and in some cases surpass state-of-the-art solutions, which they're calling a code super-optimization agent. In today's video, we'll find out how Alpha Evolve works, and if we finally just reach the runaway AI nightmare that we've all been patiently waiting for. It is May 16th, 2025, and you're watching The Code Report. Artificial Artificial intelligence just evolved ahead of schedule. Unfortunately, technology like Alpha Evolve is far too powerful for us simple-minded normies, so it won't be open-sourced or even available on an API anytime soon. But despite the fact that Alphabet's stock price has been on the decline, Google has actually been taking a lot of dubs recently, and Alpha Evolve is just their latest flex on competitors like OpenAI. What's blowing everyone's mind on the internet, though, is the fact that it improved Strassen's algorithm from 1969, which does 4x4 matrix multiplication on complex values. The prior state-of-the-art algorithm required 49 multiplications, but Alpha Evolve just discovered a new algorithm that got the job done in 48 multiplications. I mean, it's not like it figured out room temperature superconductors, but it's still very impressive that it improved a 57-year-old math problem. In addition, it found a functionally equivalent simplification in circuit design for hardware accelerators, and it even accelerated the training for the Gemini large language models underpinning Alpha Evolve itself. Yes, you heard that right, it improved itself. But how does it work? Well, at a high level, you take a prompt with a very specific evaluation metric, then feed it to an ensemble of LLMs. Gemini Flash is fast, so we can try a bunch of different ideas, like a breadth-first search, while Gemini Pro is smarter, but slower and it works more like a depth-first search. Together, they churn out ideas, evaluate them and keep the best ones, then evolve the prompts to continually optimize the final solution. It actually works like natural selection, and it's kind of weird when you realize that we're using evolutionary algorithms to improve deep neural networks, both of which are techniques inspired by nature. And what's also notable about Alpha Evolve is that it's not just churning out Python code, it actually works across massive code bases on any language. For the 23rd time this year, it looks like programmers just became obsolete, along with mathematicians as well. But there are reasons you might press X to doubt. The main drawback of Alpha Evolve is that it only works on problems that can have an automated evaluator. That means it's good for many math problems, but not so much when you have a client that gives you app requirements that make no sense. It's a step forward, but in a very limited scope. I'm not worried until it starts inventing cancer vaccines faster than light travel and figures out why wombats poop out cubes. At that point, I'll retire from programming. Right now, though, the biggest beneficiary of the AI coding bubble is the hacker who knows how to exploit it, a skill you should learn today with Try Hack Me, the sponsor of today's video. It's the world's largest cybersecurity training platform where you build technical skills by completing real-world hacking challenges. Like in this lesson, you use a virtual machine that you control in your browser to hack into a bank. I'm not exactly sure how this is legal, but over 4 million developers have taken their courses, and it's used by a bunch of big tech companies and government agencies. You can start at any skill level, then quickly earn points as you progress through their gamified lessons. Just remember to use your powers for good. There's going to be a lot of really bad vibe-coded applications out there in the near future, and with Try Hack Me, you can learn how to exploit them to make the world a better place. Start becoming a cybersecurity expert for free right now, using the link below to get 20% off an annual premium subscription. This has been The Code Report. Thanks for watching, and I will We'll see you in the next one.